Welcome to our channel, and thank you for the watching this video. I won't let allow you to waste your valuable time here. Come let's go and see the today's interesting topic. Confusion. Today we will cover the below subtopic definition. 1. We want someone to get us out of confusion. 2. What is our response to confusion? 3. Action without consideration creates greater confusion. 4. Belief is not necessary to understand confusion. Do you have any idea on this? If you're interested, to hear all these things then you're in the right place. We will see it in all the things one by one in upcoming videos. Today's we cover just overview of the topics. Confusion. 1. We want someone to get us out of confusion. Being in a state of confusion, we want someone to get us out of that confusion. So we become concerned with how to escape or avoid the state in which we are. 2. What is our response to confusion? 1. Is aware that there is individual and collective chaos, confusion and misery. All over the world, there is confusion and mounting sorrow. There is extraordinarily acute suffering. And it is not only individual but collective. It is a world catastrophe. And to limit it to a geographical area is absurd because then we won't understand the full significance of this suffering. Being aware of this confusion, what is our response? How do we react? There is political, social, religious suffering. Our whole psychological being is confused, and all the leaders have failed us. All the books have lost their significance. You may go to the Bhagavad Gita or the Bible or the latest treatise on politics or psychology, and you will find that they have lost that ring, that quality of truth. They have become mere words. 3. Action without consideration creates greater confusion. He who plunges into action without considering the problem, thinking that he is reforming the world, creates greater confusion and misery. 4. Belief is not necessary to understand confusion. We are confused, and we think that through belief, we shall clear it. Belief is superimposed on the confusion, and we hope it will thereby be cleared away. But belief is merely an escape from the fact of confusion. It does not help us to face and understand the fact but to run away from the confusion. To understand confusion, belief is not necessary. And belief only acts as a screen between ourselves and our problems. So, religion, which is organized belief, becomes a means of escape from what is, from the fact of confusion. One who believes in God or in the hereafter, or any other form of belief, is escaping from the fact of what they are. Those who believe in God, who do puja, who repeat chants and words, and who in their daily life are dominating, cruel, ambitious, cheating, dishonest. Shall they find God? Are they really seeking God? Is God to be found through belief? But such people believe in God. They worship God. They go to the temple every day and do everything to avoid the fact of what they are. Today's we just covered overview of the topics. If I discuss all those topics in one video it will be very difficult and hard to watch. So we will wind up and will connect to the next video for remaining topics. I am sharing the information according to my knowledge and for educational purpose only and stay tuned we'll meet up soon in the next video. Our motto, I am a world citizen. Every citizen is my own kith and kin. We are not alone in this journey. Thank you. Previous video link is available in the description. Have a look and if you feel these videos are useful for you then support us. If you think this playlist is useful for others then share the video. All praise to God. And don't forget to press the notification button to see the next video, which is coming soon. Thank you.